right now brought to you by Louisiana Hot Sauce. It is Texas Rangers manager Bruce Bochy. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How, how are we doing? We're doing probably about the same as you, I feel like. And I'm just going to throw out my ridiculous question to start. A couple weeks ago, we asked you about looking at Evan Carter, and you said all prospects are on the table, and you've had discussions, and here he is. I know this is not the way minor league progression usually works, but is there any kind of discussion about Jack Leiter, hell, even Wyatt Langford, if they could play on this team? Oh, man, there's been everything uh discuss trust me um you know those guys are doing a great job down there and you know we're uh, not ruling out uh, anything that could uh, happen as far as uh i'm not talking about just those guys any moves things uh, that uh, we look at that could make us a, a better team uh, a better club uh, you know just uh, um, you know, help us out in different areas, whether it's on the offensive side or the pitching side. So, yeah, I mean, you're always uh, talking about uh, uh, the players in your system, uh, and especially you, you mentioned two that are doing really well. But, uh, uh, you know, you just try to keep, uh, you know, keep uh, trying to be creative and, uh, and find ways to, you know, to improve the club. We did. You know, we did that with Carter. We, he, he was rushed up there, and he's he's been a big help. This late in the season, do you more frequently talk about the standings, or is it more like just win, and that'll take care of the rest? It's just win. It, I, no, there's nothing else but just win. It, it, I mean, this, uh, you know, this is a time where you got to look at uh, you know, how many games you have left, 12, whatever, and uh, – you just got to win games. Uh, there's there's no point in looking at anything else. Uh, other teams are struggling. Thank goodness for us. Uh, uh, but, you know, it's all about finding ways to win games. And, and you know, as bad as, uh, you know, that series in Cleveland, look, you know, if we won the game we should have won or you know, you're supposed to win, uh, you know, and that's a good road trip. Then last night, uh, uh, you know, we're just – so, you know, we're, we're going to try to make adjustments, see if we can uh, do things a little bit different late in the game now, uh, and, you know, see, see if that helps. But that's what Mike and I were just sitting here talking about before uh, you know, I got on with you guys. You know, we're, 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 trust me, we're working at this. We're, we're, we're trying to get this figured out because it, there's not a lot of games left. Well, we do trust you, Boach, and, you know, we know you you want to do the same thing that we all want as fans, and that's, you know, trying to get this thing running into the playoffs, going hot. The the one thing that I, you know, last night was a little weird because I have seen you, I've seen you happy, I've seen you excited for this team, I've seen you kind of uh, ex exasperated a little bit, but I've never seen you what looked and appeared to be ticked off. And I'm, we was, I was kind of curious if you wouldn't mind kind of, explaining or telling me do you know what you were ticked off at last night well i do i i, I and you know it's funny you, you said that i got two texts going are you okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've seen you and, uh, you know and i tell people don't let you know sometimes i look like i'm just you know being calm and everything don't don't let that belie what's going on but uh you know it's just you know losing these type games or letting these leads get away uh um, that's, you know, there was something in there. Yeah. I, I was really, really uh, ticked off about it. And, and, uh, you know, I, I talked to the player about it, but, uh, uh, anyway, it's just, you know, we're, we're competitive too. I and mean, we're human. So, you know, sometimes those emotions are going to come out. And, um, so, uh, now we got to, you know, focus forward, move forward on this, but, uh, you know, just there was something last night that uh, went against what we were trying to do. And um, so, you know, I think we got it straight now. When it comes to moving forward, Evaldi's pitching tonight. He threw 70-plus pitches his last game. So is he somewhat limitless tonight that he is a guy that can throw six-plus innings if you need it? I think so, yeah. And we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. But, you know, that's the plan. So we'll uh, see how it goes uh, and there we go. And, of course, as I always say, the you know type of innings that he has, so uh, be nice to you know get five or six uh, you know from Nate, uh, and be nice to get some runs on the board. You know we got to get the, these bats going again. Uh, 
uh, you know, to give us a little margin of error. That's, you know, that's what we're missing here now. Late, lately, you had the series in Cleveland got shut down. We got shut down yesterday. And, and so as we finish this thing up, it's going to be critical that, uh, you know, we these uh, bats wake up and, um, you know, we start creating a lot of opportunities out there. And that's something we're not really doing. Uh, yeah, we got the triple by Carter but uh, and the homer by uh, Marcus. But really, other than that, we only had five hits, and so you know that's that's not you know a lot of room for error there. And you saw what happened. You know, it's Bochy. You're making a great point. For a month, your offense has been struggling, but for five days, the last game against Oakland and the four in Toronto, your offense went back to a great offense. What happened in those five days where we saw the old Rangers offense? Great question. I wish I could give you a good answer because you <laughs> you don't know what happens with this. When it happens, it's baseball. And I'll say this, uh, Cleveland's got a good staff. They they did uh, um, attack us with quality strikes, uh, you know, off-speed pitches. Uh, um, and we just had a hard time adjusting there. And, you know, they have a good bullpen. I'll be honest, I expected to play close games there. But, you know, two of those games, you know, got away from us. Uh, uh, but, uh, like, last night, you know, you're getting home, you're, you know, you're in front of your crowd, uh, your fans, and so, you know, you're hoping you break out of it, and here we get a lead off homeward, then kind of went dry there for a while until Carter's triple. So, um, I can tell you the hitting guys there, you know, and they, they work hard to have these guys prepared. They're, you know, they're on the field. They're, they're we're, we're doing all the work that needs to be done, I think, uh, or I know uh, we'll get two guys back. I thought jo- Josh Young looked uh, really good last night for, you know, missing so much time. And, you know, Dolly, he's, you know, he, he looked a little rusty, but uh, that's going to get better. I did want to, I wanted to kind of hone in on Adolis a little bit last night. The, uh, it seemed like immediately everybody was trying to hit it to right field and test him a little bit. And as he was running all over the place out there, how did he, how did he look in the outfield? But at the plate, yeah. What was, what was your expectation there too? Well, I said the same thing. I said, shoot, they are aiming at him. Uh, but he made a nice play going to the right field line and uh, covered a lot of ground. Um, you know, the sprint speed uh, was normal. So he got tested. And so I'll see how he how he's doing when he uh, comes in today. At the plate, he did draw a walk. But, you know, he's he um, you know he, he didn't get a hit or anything. But I, I thought, you know, swings were okay. Okay, not quite dully, and that's, you know, to be expected, I guess, a little bit uh, when you have missed, you know, some time like he has. And he got he got to face live pitching yesterday. He'll see it again today and see if we can ramp up, uh, you know, his so-called, even though he's playing uh, this rehab thing to get his timing down. I know you said getting back to how Adolis has been and he was an all-star this year. I understand all of that. I, I am curious Is this kind of what he has been for the last month and a half, though? Because you've been looking at a a real uptick in strikeouts, especially versus hits and getting on base. Like, how how do you talk to him about getting out of that funk? Or do you think I am correct? Yeah, well, I mean, you're right. It just has not been a dolly we had in the first half. There's no getting around that. His timing's been off. He's expanded, and and I think he's been been pressing. He is one guy that I think in the lineup that has pressed. I think sometimes he thinks he's got to carry the day uh, or hit home runs. Uh, so what what we're working? It's like last night I was asked the question: What what can a manager do? Well, really, you have no choice but to you know keep sticking behind him and uh, support him and find ways to help them if it's uh you know in bp today you know hey just line drives to second base you know shorten things up uh you know just get him to, to make a little bit more contact shrink the zone um you know the shorter you get then i think the the better you're able not to uh expand and shrink the zone as we say and uh, make them throw strikes to you so that's that's what we're doing with dolly uh, our hitting guys and uh um, they're, I mean, they're getting cage work. We're getting live pitchers up here, uh, trying to help these guys. And that's what we have to do as coaches and managers. And that's, that's our job. 
So, Boach, last night I was at the game, and Section 133 was added again uh, behind the Rangers' bullpen. I, we're going to be out there Friday night trying to do all the chants and standing up and cheering as much as we can for the Texas Rangers. Have you noticed Section 133 when they've showed up, and how much have you appreciated it? Oh, how can you not notice? They're loud. They're into it. You love it. You know, uh, the guys love it. Uh, their enthusiasm, their chanting, uh, you know, the MVP for Corey. Uh, it just, uh, it just brings a lot of life, uh, and the guys really, really are having fun with it, listening to them. And uh, so, no, it's uh, it's great that they're doing that, and we do appreciate it. Trust me. And, and that's, you know, again, getting back to what I was talking about. We get home, we have our home crowd, I have, you know, uh, you know, that great group in uh, 133. You know, we. You know, I just thought we would break out last night a little bit more than what we did. And as I'm sure you know, rangers.com slash 133 if you want to get tickets in that section, uh-huh. especially on uh, especially on Friday, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Just wanted well, to throw. I'd like to, I'd like to send, I'd like to, for our offense to send, you know, send a few baseballs out to them. <laughs> that, that would be phenomenal. Now, speaking, that would be awesome. speaking of your offense, and you just brought it up, I, I know you. the concern is about making it to the playoffs and everything, but – what do you think about an MVP candidacy of Corey Seager, or is it just impossible because of the baseball amazingness that was Shohei Otani? Oh, I think without question, he's got to, he's, he's right there. I, I that's, I, I think it's so much uh, closer than what people think. I think you got to look at what he's done for us, the club, the, the numbers, um, you know, he's playing shortstop, so he's saving runs there. Yeah, he's not pitching, but he's out there, you know, every day playing defense. Uh, you know, his numbers are – it's historic on some things he's done. And uh, so – but I can tell you this. He's not thinking about it. We're not really thinking about it right now. Or all, the only thing we're really thinking about is uh, winning ball games and trying to get to where we want to go. That will take care of itself. Appreciate the inside as always. Good, sir. And best of luck this evening. All right, guys. Thanks. Uh, We'll talk to you later.